experiment 6 multi loop circuits and kirchhoff law the first objective of this experiment is to verify kirchhoff current and voltage laws and objective number 2 to determine the current and voltage in the circuit using resistor loop analysis the apparatus required for this experiments are the resistors the resistors wires the multimeter the breadboard and the connecting wires and the sources of uh, the battery the theory and while taking the Kirchhoff law there are two main laws of Kirchhoff talking about the the current and the voltage in the circuit the Kirchhoff junction rule or Kirchhoff current law can be called by either name and it says that the algebraic sum of the current at the junction point equal to zero the current coming towards the junction point is taken as positive the current leaving the junction point is taken as negative the algebraic sum of the current at any junction point is equal to zero this is Kirchhoff junction rule or point rule and coming to the Kirchhoff loop rule what is a loop loop is a closed circuit and which is constructed by using the various uh, the circuit elements the circuit elements include especially for Kirchhoff loop rule is the resistor and the EM of source and here the three resistors are connected and two EM of sources are connected here the algebraic sum of the potential difference across each circuit element should be equal to zero and the Kirchhoff loop rule says the al algebraic sum of the potential difference across each circuit element should be equal to zero and this is your Kirchhoff loop rule and we have two loops we are constructing by using three resistors R1, R2, R3 and we are using three power sources, the EMF source, uh, two EMF source, epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 and they are connected as shown in the circuit. We are going to provide the epsilon 1, the power source 1 and epsilon 2, the power source 2 and we are going to apply the current rule and loop rule. By applying the point rule and we get this formula I1 plus I2 minus uh, I3 minus I2 equal to 0. Here I1 is the current flow, flow, flowing through the R1 is approaching the junction and current flowing through R3 is also approaching junction both are positive and current passing through R2 is leaving the junction I2 is leaving the junction therefore it negative we get I1 plus I3 minus I2 equal to 0 and we apply Kirchhoff point rule to the circuit. Now we are going to split this into two, the loop 1, loop 2. We are going to apply the Kirchhoff loop rule for the loop 1 separately and loop 2 separately. We are going to get the two equations. By solving the two equations, we can get any unknown quantity. Let us apply the loop rule for the first one, epsilon 1. Epsilon 1 is equal to minus I1 R1, minus I1 R1, minus I2 R2. Then this loop is closed. This is circuit, uh, uh, equation number 1 obtained from the loop number 1. And loop number 2, we are going to use to construct the another uh, equation. This is epsilon 2, minus I3 R3, minus I2 R2. Now we get the, uh, the equations. Now equation 1 and 2 and we are going to use this equation to simplify these two. Substitute the value of I2 in both the formula then this equation is re reduced to this form. Epsilon 1 equal to minus I1 R1 plus R2 minus I3 R2. Epsilon 2 equal to minus I3 R3 plus R2 minus I1 R2. If you look at this uh, for uh, the equations, both the equations are in terms of I1 and I3. I2 is not available here and now we have the two variables I1, I3. By solving these two equations and you can get the value of I1, I2. By using the I, I1, I3, substituting here in this equation you can get the value of I2. Now you know I1, I2, I3. 
by using the value of i1 r1 and we can calculate v1 i2 r2 v2 i3 r3 v3 let us construct the circuit now now this is epsilon 1 em of source 1 we, we are connecting two batteries each 1.5 volt in series the total voltage expected around 3 and this em of source is connected to r1 r1 is equal to 180 r1 is equal to 180 ohm and this is connected in series with the r2 r2 is 47 ohm r2 is 47 ohm and this is connected back to the negative of the battery this for construct a loop number 1 loop number 2 is constructed with the second em of source uh, second em of source is uh, uh, one, only one battery it's a, uh, the voltage expected around 1.4 the second M of source is connected to resistor R3. R3 is 50 ohm. And this R3 is connected in series with the R2 and back to the negative of the battery. Now, this is loop number 1 and this is loop number 2. And we are going to measure the various quantities related to this. We are going to fill the schedule. And here, we are going to measure 6 quantities. Current passing through I1. Current, sorry, current passing through R1, current passing through R2, current passing through R3. And potential difference across R1, potential difference across R2, potential difference across R3. We are going to measure or calculate the six quantities. Theoretically, calcul calcul we are going to calculate and else as well as we are going to measure this experimentally. First, let us talk about the, the uh, me measurement of these six quantities experimentally. And later we will calculate this quantity is theoretically. We are going to find the difference between theoretical value and experimental value and calculate the percentage of error in each case. Now we are going to measure the EM of epsilon 1. The epsilon 1 can be measured by using this 3.09. And epsilon 2. Epsilon 2 is the potential available across the uh, the source 2 is equal to 1.429 1.43429 again 43 next I am going to measure the potential across the experimental value of potential across R1 R2 R3 now this is your R1 I am going to measure the potential across the R1 the potential is no, sir, stop, stop. the potential across R1. R1 is equal to yes, minus 2.099 minus 2.099 volt. And potential across R2. This is your R2. Potential across this zero minus zero point nine six nine minus zero point nine six nine volt and potential across R three potential across R three minus minus zero point four six one voltage. Now we have measured v1 v2 v3 we are going to measure the current i1 i2 i3 we are going to measure the current i1 i2 i3 current i1 is the current passing through r1 this is r1 the current passing through the r1 i can measure by using this minus 0 0.12 minus 0 0.012 ampere the current passing through, then reconnect this uh, place and I2. I2 is equal to minus 0 0.021. Minus 0 0.021 ampere. And reconnect the circuit. <coughs> I'm going to measure uh, uh, I3. 0 0.009. 0 0.009 ampere. Now we have measured I1, I2, I3, V1, V2, V3. The measurement quantities, experimental measurement quantities were over. 
we are going to do the theoretical calculation. The theoretical values of this can be theoretical values of I1, I2, I3, V1, V2, V3 can be calculated by using these quantities epsilon 1, epsilon 2, R1, R2, R3. Substitute these values in the formula. The reduced formula epsilon 1, substitute the epsilon 1, R1, R2 and R3. You will get one equation. And substitute epsilon 2, R2, R3, R2 and this R2 you will get another equation. And by solving these two equations for I1 and I3, we can get the value of I1 and substituting the value of I1 in any one of these equations you will get I3. And substitute I1, I, I1 and I3. You will measure I1 right here and I3 here. Substitute this I1, I3 value in this equation you will get I2. Write this value of I2 in this place, theoretical value, uh, theoretical value of I2. Now you know I1, I2, I3 and R1, R2, R3. Substitute these quantities in this formula. V1 equal to I1, R1. V2 equal to I2, R2. V3 equal to I3, R3. Write this V1, V2, V3 in this corresponding places. Now you have got the theoretical values of I1, I2, I3, V1, V2, V3 and corresponding experimental value. By using the theoretical value and experimental value, from this formula, by use this formula, passenger of error equal to theoretical value minus experimental value divided by theoretical value into 100, take the absolute number. By using this formula, uh, theoretical and absolute uh, experimental value, you will get the percentage of error for each category separately. Now, just record the percentage of error, the error expected as low as possible. The next, is, next step is the source of error. Write the possible source of error in the for the calculation of I1, I2, I3, V1, V2, V3 and write the conclusions in a short.